repolarizing the neuron turns out to be pretty straightforward. Voltage-gated potassium channels open much more slowly than sodium channels. By the time potassium channels open, the membrane potential is already quite positive due to the recent massive influx of sodium. At the same time, the voltage-gated sodium channels are closing at about plus 35 millivolts after only a short time of being open. Now that sodium channels are closed and the potassium channels are open, sodium isn't rushing in anymore. Instead, potassium is rushing out. This loss of cations quickly makes the membrane potential negative again. In fact, it overshoots a little bit and hyperpolarization occurs. Once the voltage-gated potassium channels close, our ceaselessly hardworking friend, sodium-potassium ATPase, helps to bring both the membrane potential and concentration gradients back to normal. 